Hey y'all, it's a haul. And yes, I am wearing a silly turkey hat, but it's totally my friend's fault. You're gonna have to stick around if you wanna find out why. I'm so glad you stuck around. This is gonna be a fun little collaboration video with my local reselling friends. The first is Alicia over at Murray Life, and the other is my friend Tanya over at Double T's Treasures. So you'll have to click on the links below in the description to go watch their videos after this, because today we're showing you a mega, mega, mega haul. That's right, three hauls, three different resellers, two different stores on one day. So this is a great video so you can see what three resellers are picking up at the same time at the same stores. To see that A, it's fun to thrift with your friends because we're not all looking for the same things, and B, there are goodies to be found for all. Thrift stores are stocked with so much that could end up in the landfill that you're really doing a service to the world by thrifting and reselling. All right, first up, if you're new here, we're super geeked. I started this channel with my best friends to celebrate all the things that we get super geeked about. And I get super geeked about going to thrift stores, antique stores, estate sales, all the fun places, finding discarded treasures and either keeping them for my own collections or reselling them online. I'm Victoria, and some of my reselling friends and I recently went over to a city about an hour from us called Mobile, Alabama, and we went to a Goodwill outlet, which is the bins, and we went to a thrift store. It's called America's Thrift Store. I'm going to start with my Goodwill outlet haul. That's the first place we went, and that's where we found this turkey hat, and I was assigned to wear it for this video. My girlfriends will also be wearing funny things in their videos. There will be a wardrobe change in the second half of this video when I show you what I got at the America's Thrift Store, which was our second stop of the day. But first, let's get into the Goodwill Outlet Haul. This is gonna be a mix of items that I picked up for myself and then items I also picked up to resell. First up, if you follow Super Geeked over on Instagram, you may have seen a picture of my child holding this little first aid kit. It's just a regular first aid kit that you can hang on the wall. But inside were all these fun kids' doctor's toys. So I picked it up because my kids had career day at school and my youngest wants to be a veterinarian. So he carried that to school that, uh, that day and it was a lot of fun. I also picked up this fun Ninja Turtles pinball game. I actually love pinball. So I've been the only one who's played with it. It does work, but I think I ran the batteries down before this video started, so I can't show you, but it does light up and make noises. Um, it is missing the legs, but who cares? It's pinball. And then if you're new to our channel, we love records here at Super Geeked. I am a big vinyl collector and so are my friends that you'll see on this channel. And so I did pick up some records at the bins. This first one is Annie Arnold, the Carter family, you know, June Carter Cash, who married Johnny Cash and her handsome husband, Johnny Cash from the Johnny Cash show at Opryland. Then we have Beatles Mania, really neat record. Chubby Checker for Teen Twisters Only, Ernest Tubbs Golden Favorite, I love me some Ernest Tubb, and then Dixieland Jazz from New Orleans. I thought this was a neat pickup. New Orleans is an hour the opposite way from us um, than the bins. All right, here's some items I picked up to resell. I got a pair of Levi's 505 straights in great condition. They're a nice dark wash. I loved this. Alicia actually picked this out and I saw the scalloped edge and I knew it's just a Target collaboration with Victoria Beckham, but it actually is in my size. So I asked Alicia if I could have it and she's such a good friend that she gave it to me. So you may see me wearing that in the spring. Next up is a pair of men's jeans. This is KDNK, they're sort of like an urban brand. 
They look like moto leggings and they have a lot of distressing on them. I looked them up and they seem to resell really well. They have a nice leather patch, soft leather patch on the back, which usually indicates pretty good quality. And so I grabbed those. Then I got this adorable silk dress. It's a little mini dress with a quilting and the sort of like hook and eye corset. It is 12th Street by Cynthia Vincent, which is an expensive brand and has a really good resale value. So I picked her up. Of course it's the bin, so everything's about $1.79 a pound. And then this is a brand you've heard me talk about. I'm generally only picking it up at the bins now, but it just does still sell and their jeans sell really well. And it's White House Black Market. These are the skinny leg jeans. You can see they're super skinny. And these are in a black wash. This is just one of those um, quick dry shirts. I got it for my kids. I also got this for my kids. It's from the movie Ugly Dolls, but I think it's super cute. And if they don't want it, I might keep it. Okay, more jeans. There were tons of jeans in this one bin that I went in. These are the 710 Super Skinny Levi's with the black tab on the back in great condition. So grabbed. I really like getting Levi's from the bins. Um, I usually can sell them between 30 and $50 actually. And so at bins prices, that's a nice profit. Okay, a brand I don't pick up at the thrift store. Um, I have a pretty much a love-hate relationship, but I will pick it up at the bins, is J. Jill. And this is actually a really cool plaid uh, linen top. It's got a button back and just the single pocket on the front. So I thought it was really cute. I got me some Birkenstocks. First aren't gonna bring a ton of money, but they don't weigh hardly anything. And they are the rubber Birkenstocks. So I think I will get about $30 for these. And again, they don't weigh anything. And then my friend found these. They're actually Berkey's by Birkenstock and they're in excellent condition. Y'all, I pick up can, um, Birkenstocks in really, really bad condition at the bins. As long as the cork isn't completely deteriorated on them, um, I've picked them up in way worse condition than these and they'll sell for $50. So definitely get the Birkenstocks at the bins. I got this cute little Mickey Mouse ornament that says best friends from my friend Rachel, who you have probably seen on this channel. She is a member of Super Geeked. And so I picked this up for her because she loves Disney and it says best friends. Also Disney related, I found this Donald Duck. Super cute. My youngest still loves stuffed animals at six years old. He's got so many, but if I find really good ones at the bins, I always pick them up for him. So I'll just need to clean this guy. And then I did find this super cute cardboard Christmas ornament. If you missed my Merry Kitchmas series in December, I'm a big collector of mid-century modern, but especially mid-century modern Christmas. And so this little guy is going to go swimmingly in my collection. He's super cute. And he does still have his little tag on here that says made in Japan. Okay, another pair of shoes I got were these really cool Vionic shoes. I really like selling Vionic. They are a cute little leopard print with the chain detail on the front, and they're a size 7. Great condition. I'll just clean up the bottoms and give them a little scrub because they're a little dirty. And then last item from this day at the bins was this cute tank i love this color and it is lululemon so it is just like a bra tank just a basic and but who doesn't love lululemon at the bins so that's the first half of my haul it isn't a great haul i mean i've had better hauls but i like the pieces i picked up both for personal use and to resell. And I only paid $28 this day. So I'll definitely make a nice profit on the items that I do resell. And then the other items are just a bonus. So let's have a wardrobe change and I'll show you what I got at the America's Thrift Store. All right, y'all, I'm back with my wardrobe change. These are wolf ears from the Great Wolf Lodge. Alicia found them at the bins, told me I'd be wearing them. So here they are. So our second stop after lunch in Mobile was America's Thrift Store. We have an America's Thrift Store in Mississippi, but 
I really like this one in Mobile. If you watched my video of I did something crazy, did it pay off? If you didn't watch it, I'll link it below. But that was the thrift store that I went to that day and got all that designer stuff. So I was excited when the girlfriends didn't want to cut the day short after we went to the bins and wanted to go to another thrift store. So first up, I went to shoes and found a lot of goodies. I found these tall leather Stuart Weitzman shoes. I knew they were Stuart as soon as I saw the Stuart on the bottom. And these were $10, but everything in this haul was $112. It was like $112.03 total. And so each item on average costs $6.59. These boots should get me at least $75, if not more. So, and they are in excellent, excellent condition. I don't even need to treat the leather on these. And the bottoms are pretty clean. I'll just need to take off that price and wipe them down. But yeah, I like shoes I don't have to work on and give me a great profit. I'm just going to go ahead and show you all the shoes I got because I got a ton of shoes. Next up were some more Vionics. You saw me pick up some at the Goodwill outlet. But these are leather and Vionic is known for being comfort shoes along with stylish and they're in excellent condition. Then I found two pairs of shoes from this brand. I've never sold shoes in this brand. It is Rebecca Minkoff. And these are some snakeskin flats with this, um, with an ankle strap. I thought they were really cute. And they were only $3, y'all. So $2.99. I do not know who was pricing shoes at this store, but I am very thankful. Next up for $2.99 were some more Rebecca Minkoffs. These are suede sneakers. They are dirty, but I use on the bottoms of sneakers acetone, and acetone will clean up all that yucky stuff and make them white again. And then I will use a suede brush on the suede, and they will clean up nicely. Y'all, I'm serious when I say I don't know who was pricing these shoes, but thank you. These are some Keens, and they were $1.99. What? And they're leather. Again, excellent condition. Don't have to do much work. We love not having to do work. And the last two pair are from my friend, Tori Birch. These do have some wear on the front, but leather conditioner. I use a Doc Martens Wonder Balsam. is amazing. And... Again, $1.99 for these leather flats. What? Who was pricing these? I don't know, but thank you. And this last pair were not $1.99, but they were $3.99. They are some Tory Burch Espadrille flats. Super cute. Again, just a little bit of cleaning on the fabric and on the bottoms. But y'all, $3.99 for real for Tory Burch. This is the same place I found that enamel Tory Burch necklace for 99 cents, half off, so it was 50 cents, sold it for 50. All right, let's get into clothing so I can show you what I got in the clothing section. First up was this cute tie-dye number. It's just a cotton mini dress, but will be great for summer. It is by the brand Chaser. I actually have never found Chaser at my local thrift stores. I found another Chaser thermal top that day, but it was just priced too high. So this one, again, my average uh, cost of goods was $6.59. So I, this item will not make me the most money out of this haul, but still a cute item to have in my closet. I feel like Alicia manifested these pants for me because she finds them all the time since she is in the athletic wear department and they were only $2.99. They are these brown leggings. I don't know if you know who these are. Do you know who they are? They are Spanx. I was so excited to show you that. I popped the hanger. But anyway, I have not found Spanx at the thrift store. Wait, I take that back. I did find Spanx one time, but I kept them for myself. So yeah, really happy to find Spanx to resell. And if you don't know, Shapewear does great resale. So not just Spanx, although Spanx is very well known and gets a good return for your money. There are other compression and shapewear brands that do really well. 
Next up is this adorable springy dress. It is 100% silk and it's by the designer Annie Griffin. This is from the consignment store you heard me mention in that crazy video that I'm gonna link below. So a lot of the designer dresses you see in today's haul were from that boutique that donated to the thrift store. This was on the higher end, but it is brand new and I thought the style would do really well. It was $9.99 actually, but again, average cost of goods, $6.59 for this haul. This is Citizens of Humanity. This is the new tag Citizen of Humanity. And the reason I bought them was they have this metal tab back here, but look at these pockets, you guys. And these are the amber, they're a mid-rise, a uh, slight boot cut, just a, just a very slight boot cut, but the pockets did it for me. And being a new style citizen of humanity, um, the $10 is worth it. I would pick up these for $10 at Marshall's, so. Okay, next up is another designer brand. This is Sandro, and it's this tiger ruched bodycon dress. Very cute with ruched shoulders. And there's only one for sale on Poshmark, and the solds are really good for this dress, so I thought it was a good bet. Another designer brand, David Meester. And this is a pretty dress. David Meester is a really expensive high-end brand. This dress will get me a nice return. David Meester is like Helmut Lang level designer. All right, y'all know this girl. It is Lily Pulitzer. This is a pretty white dress. I really like selling Lily's white dresses. You see the prints a lot. Of course, Lily Pulitzer is known for the prints, but these classic silhouettes and these well-made dresses do so well. I usually sell them around $75. For $6.59 cost of goods, that's gonna be an excellent return. And another silk dress for the spring. This is the lovely Shoshana. And it is just a pretty dress with a back keyhole. Really pretty sleeveless dress. Again, Shoshana, I probably will be able to get about $75 for this dress. And so, yeah, very good pickup. All right, y'all, this is a brand I do not normally pick up unless maybe it's vintage, but this is not vintage. But when I show you the skirt, you're going to know totally why Victoria picked this skirt up. It is an A-line skirt with sailboats. Oh my gosh, so cute. This is totally up my alley, and if this was my size, I would totally keep this and rock this skirt this summer. I'm actually kind of bummed it's not my size, but alas, it won't fit me. So one of you is going to have the opportunity to buy my beautiful Liz Claiborne sailboat skirt, and it definitely vintage inspired and very classic A-line silhouette. All right, y'all, so we made it to the last item, and this is actually the last item that I picked up this day. I was chit-chatting with Alicia while she was finishing looking. I had already sorted my cart. I was all ready to check out, just waiting on my friend, and I found this jacket, and I could tell immediately that it was special. It is Beth Bowley, and I looked it up. This is an anthropology jacket. It's a nice mid-weight jacket, beautiful embroidery all over the jacket. I mean, look at the back of it. So for $6.59, sold. So y'all, I would say that the day was very successful. I am very happy about both of my hauls, especially my second haul at America's Thrift Store. I'm so glad that we went there. Don't forget to go visit my friends, Alicia over at Murray Life and Tanya over at Double T's Treasures. They are two of my favorite resellers on the planet, and I'm kind of biased because they live here, so I get to hang out with them. If you have not clicked on that button down there that's red that says subscribe and turned it gray, I am so disappointed. I thought we were better friends than that. But seriously, we would love for you to subscribe to our channel and stick around and see some of the other content we put out. We're always putting out fun stuff. At least we hope it's fun. We have a good time making it for you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.